What's going on YouTube and welcome back. Today I have for you guys this awesome Hot Toy Iron Man 3 shotgun model. So guys, let's go ahead, let's get started and let's take a look at the box. So obviously on the front you guys can see the product image of the shotgun Iron Man. This is one from the House Party Protocol. And let's go ahead and turn on the trusty rotating device. So as we come around the corner, obviously it's just more of the continuation of the product shot with the arm. Also, as we come around to the back, it says Shotgun Iron Man, obviously a bunch of warning information and product information that, I mean, and honestly, does anyone even really read that, to be honest with you? And then as we come around to the other side, we've got the Iron Man 3 logo with the shotgun. It is the Mark XL. Oh, guys, I can't wait to get this thing unboxed. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at it and let's see what the accessories are inside. All right, guys, and here are all the accessories that come with it out of the box. So we have your regular quintessential Iron Man 3 base. I believe a lot of the Iron Man 3 house party protocol ones come with this particular base. We also have the stand that actually screws into the base. And then we also have the clip, which I like way more than the crotch grabber. Not a fan of the crotch grabber. I definitely like this better for Iron Man. So, And then obviously, as we see here, we've got a swap out mask. Let me go ahead and adjust that so you guys can see. So there's a swap out mask, which is actually pretty cool. Um, we have some battle damaged armor, which is really neat. You can see some of the, the battle damage right there, like the burn marks from when he was fighting the Mandarin. If do you really want to call it the, Mandalor uh, the Mandarin. And then we've also got a burnt waist piece, which is kind of cool. It's actually cut out um, because it actually lights up through the waist. So... It's kind of a neat little feature. And then they have one that's closed off that doesn't have any light through it, which is neat. You guys can see all the armor and all the burn marks and everything in there. And then we actually have your left and right hands that they give us. So these are the rubber ones. These are non-articulated, but still pretty cool. I definitely like the blue metallic paint on this. It's really nice. It's more like bluish grayish, gunmetalish almost, but really neat. And then also we have a set of articulated hands. I always prefer to use the articulated hands on the Iron Man figures. I think they're a lot better in my opinion. And I like the fact that they're articulated, which is really cool. So you guys can see. And again, the paint on these is really clean. And obviously there's some weathering and some battle damage, which is kind of neat. So, all right, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. All right, guys, and here is a look at the figure itself. And again, I love the paint scheme on this between like the grayish blue, the gunmetal, the silver, everything looks great. The cool, I like the design of the figure. I like the design of the chest plate. It's not your typical like circle or triangle arc reactor. This one just has kind of like a slit down the middle, which is really neat. Um, this is non die cast. This is plastic. So like I said before, um, I like the die cast ones a little bit better because I feel like they're more poseable and they're more rigid. So you can, you can twist them and turn them without having to feel like you're going to break them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure as we spin it around. So pretty cool. Again, as you guys can see, it has all different types of texture on it. Um, it's got all kinds of weathering and everything, which is kind of neat. The back is super cool because it looks like it's like one jet turbine and that that's really cool and you can see it's got like a little bit of burning over there from like the jets when it's firing up um also a little known fact um if you actually don't have this piece which is actually really really cool which i've just found this out now let me stop this from spinning if you actually take this off which you can see there is a tony stark portrait which is freaking awesome I love when they give us these Tony Stark portraits because I always like to pose him with him holding holding the, the mask in his hand, just kind of like I did with my Mark 7. I love that. I think that's really cool. So this is really cool. Obviously, this is magnetic, so it just clips back on. So guys, again, this is actually really cool. There's a lot of detail on this figure. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into some poses.
Okay, so after putting him in some awesome poses, this probably has to be my favorite pose right here. Um, again, I definitely like the color scheme on this. I like the bluish gray, the silver. I think it's really cool. I like the mask. I like the fact that it comes with the uh, Tony Stark portrait in there. I love when they do that, especially when he's got the battle damage and the scars all, all over his face. I like the fact that we've got a flight stand and not a crotch grabber with this one. So guys, if I had to give this hot toy a rating, I would give it a rating of yeah, guys, don't forget, if you like cool collectibles like this and other items such as sideshow statues, hot toys, and other miscellaneous collectibles, please be sure to go check out Comic Concepts. I will leave the link in the description below. Their customer service great. Their prices are fantastic, way below retail, so make sure you check them out. So guys, if you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell. So you get notified every time another episode of Nerdgasm gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at MCE. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.